There is good reason why Jotform has the highest rating on the G2 website and has the title of best online form builder. In fact, when you look at this comparison grid, Jotform is up here and all of its competitors are somewhere down here in the mix. Yes, Jotform is both the leader and a high performer when it comes to creating your forms online. And why is that? Well, you can create a form in a matter of seconds, not even minutes. You can add your custom logo, you can add your colors and create a form like this in literally less than a minute. Or maybe you want something that's going to wow your audience and also keep their attention so that they can fill out your form and actually see where they're going with a preview down below here. I really, really like this form. And perhaps best of all, Jotform integrates with more than 30 payment processors. So you're not just limited to things like PayPal and Stripe. You can collect payments any way that you want from your customers all over the world. Just when you thought things couldn't get better with Jotform, they introduce some something new. And today we're going to take a look at how you can manipulate your data right here from within Jotform. So here I am within Jotform looking at some survey data which was collected via a form. Now in most forms such as SurveyMonkey or Google Forms or almost any other form builder, your very next step would be to download this information probably into an Excel file so you can actually start to manipulate the data and start to apply other things. What Jotform Tables does differently is it allows you to do all of those things that you would regularly do in a spreadsheet and more right here from within Jotform. So for example, let's say I want to uh, freeze the name field, right? Because that's what I'm gonna be referencing right away. I'm gonna freeze that column. So no matter where I scroll here to the right, I can see that name here. Not only are things colorful here, but I can manipulate the data if need be. Let's say that this individual here actually has updated their job title. They're no longer an other. I can click on here and use this drop down and say that yes, they are now a nurse, now things are relevant, now things are staying up to date. But what the real power of Jotform tables is, is that I can add other columns once I've received this data. So for example, maybe I want to do an evaluation of all of the employees here. Maybe I need to schedule an interview, for example. Within the add a new column dialog, we can add any number of basic fields, many of the things that we could have added to the original form. We can even add some formulas, whether they are complex formulas or just some simple addition and subtraction. We can either connect other forms or connect an existing table. But let's go back to the basic area here. In this case, let's say I do want to schedule an interview with these individuals and I need to see if I am keeping track of when those interviews are scheduled. So I'm gonna say uh, interviewed scheduled is the name of the column and I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna give them two options. Basically it's a yes or no as my team and I need to reach out and contact these individuals. So I'm gonna say that uh, yes is one option and I'm gonna say no is the other option here. So these are the two choices that I want to create from. I'm gonna say create column and now I've got my interviewed schedule column. So now as I work my way down the list, I can say uh, yes, Yes, this person, I have scheduled that interview with them. Um, uh, Hilly here, uh, yes, I've scheduled with, uh, with them as well. Uh, I've reached out to Kermi, uh, still hasn't gotten back to me. So that is a no. You can see the value here is that I can actually start to work with the data rather than just exporting it somewhere else. But let's take a look at the tab feature up here. And yes, this is much more than just adding a new worksheet within your Excel or within your spreadsheet document. Let's say I just want to focus in on all of the head nurses here under job title. Now I could use the filter here to get me started, right? I could say, let's take a look at the job title and I only want them to include the head nurse. Let's apply that filter. So now I'm only seeing these head nurses at this moment in time. But you know what? I, I don't wanna just filter this information because sometimes that can be confusing. Maybe I just want to focus on this data or have other members of my team see this data so they're not confusing it with the master data or the default data that we see here in this first tab. So in this case, what what I can do is I can say create a new tab and I'm going to say head nurse 
in this case, and I'm going to say create tab. So now you can see this new tab has been created and all I have in front of me are those with the job title head nurse. Now what makes this so powerful because JotForm Tables is an actual database is that the changes that I make here or the changes that I make on the first or the master tab here are going to reflect in both places. How many times have you copied things or created a new worksheet in Excel and you start changing things and oh, but I, I didn't have it synced up or I didn't have the right formulas in place so things are happening there. So let's take a look at an example here. Let's go back to employee information and I'm just going to uh, remove this filter so we can see all of that data here available to us. If I go back to the head nurse here, we can still see just the information that we're viewing, just that head nurse information. All right, so if I come over here and let's find someone uh, that has that head nurse title here. Let's say uh, Shane here. And let's say that, oh, you know what? Shane's date actually isn't October 18th, 2010. I spoke to him the other day and we need to update this. This is actually incorrect. He was actually hired in 2012. So I'm gonna update that time there so you can see that it's 2012 for his entry. If I now go back to the head nurse tab and let's find where Shane is. Here he is, October 18th, 2012. It's an actual living, breathing database. So as things change in one area, they are going to be reflected everywhere else. So maybe this is where I want to be scheduling those interviews. Maybe I'm assigned to just make the interviews for all of the head nurses. Everyone else on my team can have access to all of the data here, but I can be hyper-focused and zero in on just this subset of area that I want to. On top of that, maybe I don't need things like job start date and phone number here. So maybe what I want to do is I want to come down here and hide this column and maybe hide the phone number and uh, the birth date. I just don't need that information as I'm planning things out here. It's not gone and it's not hidden from my first tab here, but this allows me to work so much more efficiently, effectively, and especially if you're sharing this with others. Another great benefit of using JotForm tables is that we can view our data in a number of different ways. More than just creating filters or different tabs along the top, we can come down to any of our submissions and hit this view button, and we're gonna see the full details for that particular entry. But it gets better than this. What we can do is come up to the tab itself and say change type. Here we have some other views which are gonna help us out a lot. I particularly like the cards view, which gives us sort of a snapshot view of multiple entries at a given time. So we can see the details. And if I need to come down here and say, uh, yes, you know what? I have scheduled this interview. I can come down and say, yes, I can work within this view. It's so much more than just reporting. But speaking of reporting, let's go back to our table view here. And let's say I want to get a quick glance at the breakdown of all of the different departments. Now, if you were using a traditional spreadsheet tool, you would have to select this entire column and then cross-reference it with perhaps a name or some other column on a different axis to be able to produce that report. But I want to know this right now. Well, all I need to do is select this drop-down and say summarize with a chart. And now instantly I can see the breakdown of the different departments which are represented within this particular form. And keep in mind that this is dynamic. So if this particular form is still open and people are still submitting entries, they can do that and this report will be updated accordingly. I can even choose a different type of bar chart or type of graph right here within this view. So a variety of different ways in which you can view that data immediately as you're working with your forms. Now, because JotForm Tables allows us to manipulate our data and rearrange the information any way that we want, we may want to add other data to this table or perhaps add another tab. So in this example, I'm gonna say Add Tab. I want to add a table view, but in this case, I wanna to connect to another form or perhaps another survey that I've given my employees. This one's labeled Medical History Form. I'm going to say Next. And now I can choose only the data that 
I want to include. Maybe I want full name and I want a couple of these key questions here to include in this table. I'm gonna say create and now I have this data right here alongside my other tab. So if I need to cross-reference this, if I want to combine some of this data, I have it now at my fingertips. And since JotForm Tables is so much more powerful than your traditional spreadsheet, you may want to add other data that you didn't collect in a form. So here under Add tab, I'm once again going to select Table View, but this time I'm gonna select Import from a file and JotForm accepts any type of CSV or Excel formatted file that you can upload right here to JotForm. So if you need to cross-reference, if you want to work with your data in a much more manageable and easier way, you can bring that in here as well. So if you'd like to get so much more out of your data with an easy to use interface, get started with JotForm tables with their free forever plan. Be sure to click the link in the description below to learn more. Thank you so much for watching today's video and remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.